All right, what's good, Gilly? I just want to say it's an honor to have you here today on Panda Chop News. I appreciate you taking time out your day to do me this solid and let me get your story, man. So for the people that are not familiar with you, can you just uh, please introduce yourself and your relation to the late, great, big pun? Yeah, my name is Gilly uh, Pure and um, from the Bronx, New York. And um, a pun was my man, I, you know, uh, he was my man, personal assistant and um, wound up being his road manager and just more working hand in hand with him. Mm -hmm. So what age were you when you met Big Pun and how did you meet him? Yeah, I was in my mid twenties. Um, I, I was in my mid twenties. Like I said, he came from the Soundview side of the Bronx, and um, <clears throat> one up on this side, on the south, on the more south side of the Bronx, uh, around from my area towards Prospect, which is Fox Street, Prospect, Forest, High, Forest Avenue, Forest Projects, you know, Little Vills, shit like that. Yep. So when you met him, was Cuban already around with him at the time? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I met them all together, actually. Mm -hmm. And uh, what was your relationship with Cuban like? Cuban's my, always been my little man. Like, Cuban, he's always been my little man. Um, You know, I you know, I come from a different walk. You know what I mean? Something I, I, you know, we don't talk too much about. But, you know, I, I was outside as a young kid always. So that's the new phrase everybody uses. I'm outside, right? So right. I was outside. And, um, you know, you know, you meet people when everybody's outside. So I had a good relationship. I used to see them, you know, they was up and, you know, they was popping. They was good kids. And, um, and you know, um, actually Cuban used to work in the barbershop too as well. And, and he used to cut my hair when I had hair. So, you know, that's how I built the relationship with them and with Sace. Used to play baseball, softball. You know, we all from the same vicinity. So, you know, we always see each other in, in parks and jams, you know, block parties and shit like that. You know, you bump into people, you just driving by, you drive through blocks. You know, like they say, you spinning blocks and, you know, you see fellas outside, you stop, you kick it, you talk, smoke, drink, bullshit. You know what I mean? The way of the city. So did you meet Cuban first before a uh, pun or you met them at the same time? No, I met them all at the same time called my cousin, the sick one. Uh, he was the fully clips member and um, he used to rap with them. So that's kind of how I got familiar with them through my cousin. Cause he's from, he was from forest and he's original terror squad, my cousin Toon, the sick one. And um, that's how, you know, I got to meet them. Uh, but I met them all together, like basically like at the same time. And uh, what was your first impression of Pun and Cuban at that time? Just regular shit. Like, I didn't know Pun rapped. I didn't know Cuban rapped. I was just, it was just some regular shit. It was just regular homeboy shit, you know, growing up in the same hoods. And and it was, it was just some regular shit. I didn't know they rapped. I, I really didn't. And are you older than them? So, like, when you met them, were they like... Yeah, 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 yeah. I was much older than them. I was already, like I said, I was almost in my prime. I was already in my mid to late 20s when I met them. 